Got a great R&B record. A lost 45 on Billboard's Hot 100. Of, I believe it's August the 15th, 1970. Let me bring it up for you real quick. Back in 19, the summer of 1970. Let me bring that up for you. August 15th, 1970. <clears throat> Let me read you the top five hits from that uh, from that week. Uh, in the Summertime by Mungo Jerry, which went to number one in England, f eventually went to number one here in the States, I believe. Spill the Wine by Eric Burden in War at number four. Sign, Seal, Delivered, I'm Yours by Stevie Wonder at number three. Make It With You, first hit record by Brad at number two. And They Long To Be Close To You by The Carpenters at number one on Billboard's Hot 100. The song I want to talk to you about is all the way down to number 51. It will peak at 51. No, I take that back. It peaked at 49. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for nine weeks. Still in the name of the Lord by Paul Kelly. Paul Kelly from Florida. He recorded from he recorded off the uh, Phillips record label back in the late 60s. Well, actually towards the mid-60s. Uh, produced about four sides. It was uh, recorded by a guy named Buddy Kellum, Kellum, K-I-L-L-E-N, but Buddy Kellum, I believe, is how you pronounce his last name. Country music producer, basically. He uh, he played bass guitar with the Grand Ole Opry at one time in his career, but uh, and then um, Paul Kelly moved on. He lived in New York City for for a while, recorded for another record label, and he wrote this song "Still in the Name of the Lord," which. Uh, he wrote it for Sam and Dave. He wanted Sam and Dave to record the song. He knew Sam Moore when he was living in Miami, but uh, Sam Moore rejected it. So Paul Kelly did the song. Actually, uh, Buddy he teamed up with Buddy Killam again. Buddy Killam bought the rec bought the rights to the record, and they recorded the song in Muscle Shows, and uh, it didn't really take off at first because. Uh, because of the controversial nature of the record, it was about the hypocrisy of the church leaders. And uh, here's here's a bit of a lyric from that song. Let me bring that up for you right now. I got it up here uh, off of Wikipedia. Here's a bit of the lyric from that record. <laughs> oh, 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 it's happening every day. This man, he'll walk up to you and look you in the eye, put his hand on your shoulder and tell you a big fat lie. He'll tell you God's going to bless your children if you put your faith in me. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Well, a lot of R&B stations, they ran gospel shows like on Sundays, and they were reluctant to play this record because they would offend the sponsors, the, the people who put, put commercials on these gospel shows. And that's why the record just was very slow and taken off. Don't have the ultimate chart position on R&B, but only got as high as number 49 still. Fine R&B record by Paul Kelly coming in at number 51. Billboard's Hot 100, August 15, 1970. Still in the name of the Lord.